fish. Big fish. Oh, still going, still going. This is surreal. I don't even know what this is. It's the first big fish, like I said, ever here. It's, I can't even process this. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd from Your Fishing Adventure, and I'm fishing on the western side of Lake Arthur, where I've not caught any substantial fish ever. I moved here to Pennsylvania from New York 28 years ago, and I've caught fish on the other side of the lake, but never anything bigger than a 10-inch crappie on this side. But I have a plan. I'm going to try fishing in an area where there's some, likely some warm water from recent rain uh, entering here. I realized I've never fished this side of the lake in April before. With the April spawn and the warm water coming in over here to attracting the minnows, I'm feeling pretty good about this and hopefully I can break the 28 year drought. All right, gonna try trolling just below where the warm water's entering here, right around this island, beautiful here. I know people catch monstrous fish right here. Let's see how this goes. All right, nothing here. I'm gonna head farther up those tributaries. There's also something called porcupine cribs over there where the minnows might be stationed. Hopefully this works. If it does work, this is going to be a great video. If it doesn't, I'm just going to record over this. Just casting my usual 3-inch Berkley Gulb on a 1 8 ounce jig. I'm going to troll around. Looks like the fish here are suspended. Those are either minnows or fish hovering around these porcupine cribs in this area. Plus you can see the water temp is 51. It was 49 near the boat launch. So I'm just gonna troll right around that corner up there and go right over the cribs. Sky peeking through. Come on, come on. Got a good feeling about this. That's a fish. Big fish. Oh, still going, still going. This is surreal. I don't even know what this is. It's the first big fish, like I said, ever here. It's, I can't even process this. going, not spinning like a catfish. Oh, you hear all that wind? It's pushing me right towards shore where all the sticks, and tree stumps, and tipped over trees are. You have to run the motor to, to stay off shore. Gonna tighten this drag, try to guide the fish. All right, I got this trolling motor in reverse. I'm using 80% of full capacity on this motor to fight the fish and the wind. Check that out, another run, that's gotta be a hybrid. Look at those waves going past the kayak, like I'm moving backwards, but I'm really just standing still and the wind's moving around me and this fish is standing still. Try to get some more power out of this thing. Stay off the shore. All right, I got the kayak turned, pointed the right direction. Let's try to move this thing out deeper. Come on, stay on. Oh, it's coming up. What is it? It's a big hybrid. Stay on. All right, backing up again. Got turned around.
close, can almost reach it. Yes! This thing's got some weight to it. See what this one weighs. So 8.5 minus the grippers, 8.1 pounds, almost a personal best. Let's see the length. So 28 and a half inches. Okay, where there's one, there's usually more. I'm gonna head up this little tributary here. I'm running out of time here. I'm gonna start trolling back to the boat launch. reel up here and pack up. This was so much fun. It's not often that you break a 28 year drought. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to become a subscriber if you've not done so already. And I will see you on the next fishing adventure.